Welcome back everybody. Uh, did a quick walkthrough today showing some thermometers and showing the performance of the passive house uh, with no heater during the winter. So as you can see right now, it's pretty cold outside. Uh, we got some snow last night and the high has been probably in the mid 30s for the last maybe two days is my assumption. Um, so it's been getting about 37, I think, yesterday uh, was the high. And then if I go over here and show you, uh, the, the house is still 65 degrees inside and then outside uh, is 29 degrees. There's a thermostat right outside the door over there underneath the overhang. So we've had no heater uh, in our house and the, it's still saying mid 60s, which is pretty incredible. It's been getting down as low as 17, I believe, uh, during the day. Um, so uh, this is an, a unique experiment because our, our mini split system is needing repair. So we have it off right now. And so we've been testing what the limits of the system are uh, or what the performance of the house is without uh, a heater. And so it's actually quite comfortable uh, as you can tell even when we have really really cold days like this uh, and snow outside and you can see you know here how thick the walls are you know they're about I would say 14 inches 16 inches thick you know with the exterior as well uh, so with all that insulation stay and then these you know very triple pane you know windows uh, it's been creating a incredible uh, thermal thermal system you could say i guess uh, and you can see all the sun coming in up here too so yesterday was not sunny um but today it's looking like it's going to be a much sunnier day especially in the morning so this sun in the morning really helps to get the the temperature up so it's been uh pretty fantastic uh in the house with with no ac um or no not no ac but no heat and you can see here, oh, this is off. I was gonna show you what this is, but that doesn't have the, the thermostat uh, when it's off. So really amazing performance. Um, Enrico from uh, Emu Systems, our energy consultant, he has been collecting data uh, with sensors around the house as us part of us being part of the, I can show you one of those sensors. So if you go upstairs here, I'll zoom out a bit. So it's a bit better in terms of not being so zoomed in. If you go upstairs, I can show you the type of sensor that he has. Um, you can see we're getting some light in up here as well uh, from the east sun. This is south facing here. Then we get some west sun over here later in the day. Uh, but this is the sensor. We have these all throughout the house. Uh, and so he's been collecting data with those on temperatures. So we're going to have a more in-depth video reviewing the performance and what the outside temperature was and what the temperature variation was. So we'll be coming up with that maybe in, I don't know, maybe in a week or two. I have an interview that I did with the construction company and Enrico that I'm going to release first, but then we'll have that. So you can see here, uh, pretty much room temperature, you know. Uh, 65 degrees, which is almost ideal. We've just been putting a hoodie on uh, with no heater in Colorado uh, when it's been getting into the seven into the teens that night, which is really incredible and just barely above freezing during the day. So yeah, more videos to come. Uh, enjoy.